To begin, select the Notester icon on your desktop. Once the menu appears, select Document Camera. Now that you've opened the software, position your camera so that it properly streams the pickup area. If the pickup area appears upside down on your screen, click the Image Rotation button at the base of the Document Camera. After, click the Autofocus Lock button to focus, then lock the pickup area. To open Annotation Tools, select the stag that opens the annotation wheel. From here you can annotate with various colors, erase items, and place objects within your screen such as circles, arrows, and rectangles. If you would like to preserve what you've annotated, select Snapshot in the menu displayed at the bottom of the screen. This will save it to your desktop. However, you can also compare your live image to the snapshot you took by selecting Side by Side in the menu options. In the center of the screen will be a blue circle with arrows pointing in both directions. Use this to give one image more display space or to make them equal. Next, if you want to display multiple snapshot images, select the multi-split button in your menu. Here you can select however many rows and columns of images you would like displayed next to each other. To exit the multi-split screen, select Exit. You can also slingshot the still image to your desktop, or documents, or wherever you would like to move it. To do this, select the slingshot button in your menu. To return to the document camera software, press the back arrow on your pop-out icon. To scan items, select multi-scan. From here, you can scan as many items as you like for your settings. For viewing options, such as to rotate, mirror, view full screen, picture in picture, and more, select view options. To digitally zoom, select zoom. To digitally focus, open focus on the menu. From here, you can autofocus, autofocus lock, and selective focus. In the adjustments menu, you can change your brightness levels, contrast, saturation, focus, exposure, and white balance. The A button will automatically set the feature. The L button will lock the feature in place. Once your preferred settings are in place, you can save them, reset them, or restore your features to default. To crop the image, select Cropping in your bottom menu. Using the cropping tool, you can take a snapshot using Capture, move the crop to clipboard, and even use the OCR text recognition for the area selected. From settings, you can configure the camera, scanning, recording, and preferred root folder.